All right, today we're going to be making a, a procedural nebula in Blender. Um, okay, so make a brand new Blender file, Cycles. And for this, it this one renders really, really quickly because it only uses emission and volume absorption rather than scattering and absorption or whatever. So it renders very, very quick. And after three to five samples, it's basically noiseless. So set a pretty low sample rate with maybe some denoising. And set your um, volume step rate to 0.01. Uh, that's pretty much it. Set your background to black and delete everything. Add a cube and go to your shading tab. Um, I'm just going to close up all these because I don't don't need them. Okay, and then give it a material. Just call this Nebula, and delete the principal BSDF. Go to rendered view. Oh, what just happened? Oh, uh, it's because of denoising. Okay, so grab a noise texture and plug object coordinates into the vector. Um, turn that on. Okay. Uh, set your scale to about 1.5. Detail of like 10. 8 to 10 should work. I wouldn't recommend going any higher. wouldn't recommend going any lower. You're not really going to see a difference if you go any higher. And if you go lower, it's not going to look as great. I think 8 is probably the lowest I would go. Once you get lower than that, you start to lose a lot of detail. Uh, set your roughness to like 0.45. And then plug this into another noise texture, but plug the color into the vector. Um, set your scale in here to about 5. Detail to about 10. Or Eight doesn't really matter. Both work. Uh, roughness. Uh, do a higher roughness, not 0 0.6. 0 0.7 might work. It's still a bit rough though. Uh, point. Yeah, we'll do 0 0.7 for now. Actually, you know, I'll do 0 0.675. There you go. Um, grab a color ramp and set this to constant. And drag this over until like 0.585. Or. Yeah, should work fine. Um, plug that into your volume. Okay. I'm going to move all this over a little bit. Um, grab a math power node, plug it into here, set your exponent to like 5, maybe 8. Hold on, well, let's see this in here. Mm, 5, I think, is all you need. Hmm. Okay, and then just multiply this. Uh, 256 should work. Oops. 6, there we go. And add one for our emission. Uh, and then you want to grab an add shader, plug an emission into here, make sure that's going into strength instead of color, and then grab some volume absorption, plug this into the density, and that into the add shader. And after the add, going into the emission, you want a map range. All of these settings are fine, just make sure it says clamp and click Control H to hide everything you don't need. Actually, wait, no, bad idea. Put it in here first and then Control H to hide everything that you do not need. Um, and switch this into volume. Boom. Oh, also, you don't need any kind of bounces. It does not affect this unless you have something else on your scene. But I don't understand why you would do that. Just make an HDRI. Um, 
for your emission. Uh, this is what I found to look good. Just make a nice light blue. And then for this, turn that down a little bit and set it to like a orangey yellow, very desaturated orangey yellow. Not very desaturated, but somewhere over there. And then uh, you grab a camera and just put it somewhere inside this cube. And it will take some time to get something that looks half decent. Camera placement really does matter for this. Um, I'm going to set my resolution to 2048 by my computer is dying. Uh, 1024. I'm going to turn on denoising. And here you can see. practically noiseless. Uh, it does give an interesting effect in um, EVs. Actually, I'm not going to do that. But um, here, if we change this to like 0.75 and this to like 8. You can get some really interesting results. And the more you crank back this white, the more um, absorption there will be. I'm going to set the scale back to 1.5. And this scale back to... Actually, 8 does look good for this. Um, and then if you want different generation, or like different um, shapes, switch the first noise texture to 4D. And then, uh, here, let's just box select a random part. And then just change the W here. And um, this will change the amount of, like, that blue emission that we added. Um, I'm probably going to stick with one. I might make the blue a little bit more saturated. Only very slightly, though. Make this a little more saturated as well. And uh, yeah, that is how you make a very, very fast to render, basically noiseless nebula in Blender. So have fun messing around with the values. And uh, bye.